Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Demon Slayer 33 and I'm here with a message. This is about some new laws that they done started in Texas. I didn't start this, you know, it's a thread. Y'all know when I get a thread in my email, I'm gonna have to expose it. So they trying to make the new, they trying to make the laws. Laws, okay, in Texas. So let's begin. Let's see what they telling us. Seven, so it's going to be 774 Texas laws go into effect September the 1st, including ones about diapers, alcohol, and luxury cars. Friday marks the start of a slew of new Texas laws, including requirements of an armed officer at every school, variable speed limits, and tax exemptions for diapers. There are 774 laws that go into effect September the 1st following the 88th legislative session that concluded in May. While there's no uniform start date for new state laws, the 1st of September is coming for many. Here are some of the bills that go into effect. School Safety Legalization House Bill 3 is a wide-ranging school safety bill that requires, I mean, it do sound good, but I don't think it's good, okay? I don't know, but we're going to see. Safety bill that requires districts to have at least one armed officer at each school during the day. Some school districts in North Texas are struggling to meet the requirements. It also requires mental health training for educators who regularly interact with students to help them recognize students who may pose a risk to school safety. Under the new law, the Texas Education Agency must establish an Office of School Safety and Security. The law was passed after the mass shooting at Rob Elementary School in Uvalde. Okay. The next bill is fence line penalty. Under House Bill 6, a person could face a murder charge if they give fence line to someone who dies as a result of the drug. The criminal penalty comes as lawmakers try to curb fence line deaths. The drug is sometimes taken unknowingly when the person believes it to be a different type of pill. The bill also increases the criminal penalty for manufacturing or delivering fentanyl and requires death certificates to note fentanyl toxicity or fentanyl poisoning as causes of death when applicable. So we go in the matrix. The next law is giving alcohol to a minor. House Bill 430 increases the criminal penalty for purchasing or giving alcohol to a minor to a state jail felony when it results in the minor's serious injury or death. The penalty increases applies only to offenses after September the 1st. A state jail felony could result in 180 days to two years in jail and a fine of up to 10000 The next bill is Crown Act. The law, House Bill 567, established protections against race-based hair discrimination in housing, education, and at work. The bill is commonly called the Crown Act, which stands for creating a respectful and open world for natural hair in public schools and in public universities and colleges. Dress codes cannot discriminate based on hair texture or styles like braids, locks, and creases. Now, my adopted daughter, Michael's daughter by another woman, she said the reason why boys did not want to touch her because her mom did not do her hair. So they're trying to be funny. They're trying to tell boys that's in school, even if they hair not done, still do it. Okay? Next one is, many black North Texans had previously told the Star Telegram that natural hair texture wasn't accepted in school or workplaces, calling for the law. Okay, the next law is animal cruelty charges. House Bill 598 
makes it a crime for a person to have an animal if it's in the last five years they've been convicted of dog fighting, attacking a service animal, or cruelty to a non-livestock animal. The crime is usually a Class A misdemeanor, which could mean up to one year in jail and a 40000 maximum fine. The penalty is increased if a person has previously broken the new law. Okay, talking about me. So, it's my one up on me. I, I can't touch them. Okay, what they trying to tell me. Next law is penalty for doxing. House Bill 611 makes it crime to post a person's home address or phone number online with the intention to cause or threaten harm. Violators face 180 days in jail and a fine of up to 2000 The potential punishment increases if the post results in injury. Okay, then that's for people that actually come to my house and spread my business. Okay, y'all about to get fined too. So they're not paying no size. Okay, so don't be trying to save them. So if you, if you come into my house acting like a KKK motherfucker, you don't. Don't, don't just leave me alone because you y'all not signing to shit. That's why I'm trying to tell them they don't listen to me, anyways. I shouldn't, man. Anyway, next law they're trying to make is library book ratings, house bill 900, ban sexual explicit material in school libraries, and create a rating system for the books. I got Emmy Till for this, so bay, okay. The law requires book vendors to grade library materials as sexual explicit or sexual revelant. Yes, when they kill people, they get off. Okay, if you've been watching me, you will know that. The books considered sexual revelant could be checked out by students with permission from their parents. And sexually explicit books cannot be sold to districts. Several booksellers have sued Texas over the law because Emmett Till is now alive. He my man. Okay. Next law we're trying to make is illegal voting. Okay. Writing contracts on people. House Bill 1243 makes it a second degree felony to vote illegally in Texas. The law reverses a penalty reduction made in 2021 as part of an election bill. A person convicted of illegal voting could face between two and twenty years in jail and a fine of up to ten thousand. Next law is House Bill eighteen eighty five allows for temporary adjustments to speed limits based on road conditions like bad weather, traffic or construction. Variable speed limits were recommended by the National Transportation Safety Board after February 2021's daily February daily February daily pileup crash on an icy scratch of Interstate 35 West North of downtown Fort Worth. Basically, talking about when they measure y'all for the cars. Okay, they done doing that or something like that. The next law is local pre-mention. House Bill 2127 says city and county rules must be consistent with state laws. The legislation has been criticized by many local officers, officials who say it erodes local control. San Antonio and Houston have been sued Texas over the law. Arlington, Plano, and Waco support it, Houston's legal challenge, opposing the new law in a letter filed in court earlier this month, according to the Denton Record Chronicle. Okay, so I seen that. The next law is drag show restrictions. Senator Bill Frelf bars businesses from hosting sexual oriented performances when a child is present. Okay, they're trying to be funny to my kids that do drag. The bill doesn't, or anybody that do drag in front of kids, the bill doesn't explicitly make a reference to drag shows and performers. 
but includes the illusion of sexual genitalization, losing accessories or prosthetics that aggravated male or female sexual characteristics under the definition of sexual conduct. Opponents of the bill have said it targets drag shows, the LGBTQ community, including in lawsuits that aim to block the law. That's probably why they've been angry lately. Opponents have argued the board language could affect other types of performances, such as cheerleading and theater. Okay. Supporters say it is needed to protect children from sexual content. The next law is transition related health care. Senator Bill 14 bars doctors from providing translation related health care to children under 18, including the prescription of puberty blockers. Okay, so book control. Minors who were taking prescription drugs that suppresses puberty before June the 1st and have gone to therapy or cancer, the treatment, the chemo have gone to therapy at least 12 times over the course of six months before starting the medication can gradually stop taking the prescription in a manner that is safe and medical appropriate and that memorize the risk of complications. A legal fight over the law is playing out in court. The next law is transgender college athletes. Senator Bill 15 bars college athletes from competing on sports teams, aligning with their gender identity. Okay, they're trying to be funny. My, they're trying to be funny to my younger son. He played basketball. The law, and he do, and he is, he ain't no transgender, but he, he wants to be, you know. He, he likes to wear good clothes. Anyways, the law comes after lawmakers passed a similar bill in 2021 that applies to public schools. The next law is tampon and diaper tax exemption, which is a pad. Senator Bill 379 exempts adults and children's diapers by baby wipes, maternity clothes, breast milk pumps, baby bottles, tampons, and other period products from sale taxes. Okay, the next law is electric vehicle fee, Senator Bill 505, okay, requires electric vehicle owners to pay a $400 fee when they register a new car and $200 each time the vehicle registration is renewed. The money goes to the state highway fund, which is largely used for public road projects. Part of that fund's financing is fuel tax revenue. The fee for electric vehicles is meant to replace the last, replace the lost gas tax revenue. So they trying to tell me I can't drive my car in the sky no more. Yes, I be doing that. Okay. And the last law they want to make is illegal dumping penalty. Okay. They talking about them when they leave bodies on the ground. Okay. Senator Bill 1346 attends the crime of illegal dumping to the person who ordered the dumping, not just the person carrying it out. Okay, they like some serial killer shit, okay? Um, so hopefully all this breaks, okay? Hopefully we figure out what they doing, okay? Hope y'all enjoy.